one year, my stepmother actually cried at the luncheon event because of one of the um, performances that took place. It's just a moving um, celebration. We're talking about the Martin Luther King uh, celebration that's taking place at Eastern Michigan University. It's going to be um, from the 17th to the 20th, and we have a lot of events set up this year, so I'm really excited about it. Six days, uh, we have 13 plus events that are going on uh, throughout those days that give students, faculty, administrators, people from the community, um, both in the Southeast Michigan area and other places to come and, and get together in, in various capacities to celebrate his legacy. Well, what I'm most excited about being from Detroit, um, every year we show a video, and the video this year is Detropia. And what it is, it's going to focus on some issues that Detroit has, but it's going to talk about how those same issues are issues that are faced in America today. So after we show the video, we have a panel, and there's going to be a discussion on the issues. But the luncheon is, is a huge commitment by the university to bring in a high profile speaker that's able to, to speak to issues of social justice and community development. Well, the number one thing that's exciting to me is the fact that Tim Wise um, is the keynote speaker. Um, I've read his books and watched his videos, so I'm really excited about what he has to say about race, racism, white privilege, and things like that. We're one of, one of the few, if not only, um, large universities in the country that has a major uh, sporting event that is dedicated specifically to, the Martin, to their Martin Luther King celebration. So we're very proud of that. Um, and it's not just play the game and, and show a clip at, during halftime. I mean, there are going to be student performances. There are going to be recognition of people throughout the university community. Um, and then an opportunity for people to really sit in silence and, and reflect on exactly what his legacy mean to them. Uh, we are very intentional in making sure that the celebration uh, is very inclusive. We have members from, from different cultural backgrounds that are uh, members of the, the planning committee, um, people from different um, age groups, people that have been at the university for 20 years and those that, that just got here, like myself, who's only, only been here two to three years. Well, one thing for sure, I want them to know that anybody can celebrate MLK Week, not just African-American students. So that was our goal this year, to really create events that will um, reach out and that will be of interest to a good diversity or a good different amount of students because we wanted everyone to feel like they could participate. Um, but overall, I, wanted, I think that we wanted them to reflect back on the message that uh, Martin Luther King was really trying to send to us. and. Um, for us to appreciate one another and appreciate our education, appreciate all the opportunities that we have because of him.